That's right. Well, Mark Burling told the jury that he is a father himself of three children, and despite the four sentencing options, he hopes that the jury only considers the two harshest penalties. With the death penalty on the table as one of the possible punishments for the murder of Sierra Joggin, James Worley's attorney asked the jury for mercy. I would ask for life imprisonment without the possibility of parole and to allow him to die in prison. Though the prosecution did not shy away from asking for the maximum punishment. If the jury unanimously determines that the aggravating circumstance outweighs the mitigating factors, there can be but one sentence. You must find you must find that the death penalty be imposed. Today, the jury heard about Worley's past, his childhood, upbringing, and adult life, giving the jury insight into what could have possibly caused him to kill Sierra. You're going to hear that he was an odd fellow, uh, kind of a weirdo, uh, most of his life. And we've all known people like that who are a little weird, a little odd, people you don't really want to be around, or they're just goofy. A taped interview with Worley's sister was also played today. She described her brother as mild-mannered, who had a typical childhood and cared for his mother later in his life. She described the moment she learned her brother was arrested in connection with a kidnapping and murder. And I was shocked. I mean, absolutely. I've never felt shock like that in my life. I can't, can't even describe it. And something else to note, before court did get in session today, Sierra Joggins' mother took to Facebook and she told everybody on her daughter's Justice for Sierra Facebook page that justice has already been served for her daughter and that if James Worley does receive life in prison without parole, that is still an acceptable punishment for her and her family. Reporting tonight from Fulton County, Michelle Zapata, WTOL 11.